Buenos días chicos chicas, os traigo la guía de Gold Club Westerland para que conseguáis el platino gracias a Luke Kid, Press Energy Net, Unton Tales Games que nos han facilitado una key para que la disfrutemos en el canal es un platino de alrededor de unas 8 horas tenemos el modo campaña en el que tenemos que superar 35 niveles e ir sacando unos trofeos específicos que hay en cada nivel Luego tenemos el modo desafío, que tenemos que meter la bola en las tiradas que nos pone. Y luego está el otro modo, el más difícil de todos, el modo palo de hierro, que es pasarse los 35 niveles sin fallar, si no te borra la partida. Ese es el trofeo más difícil para conseguir el platino. Nosotros vamos a traer solo la campaña. Así que vamos a por ella, este platinete. Hello, all you Martians out there. It's your turn, fix foot, soul, with a bit of that old world flavor. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy, take back, and reminisce. Take my hand, explain it me. This project called humanity. Don't let go. This ride, there will be no surprise. All I know is that we shouldn't be sad when we think of the road ahead. Take my hand, don't let go. I know we won't, we won't get lost. Oh no, we take my hand. Don't oh, let go. God. The signs are fake and the maps are false. But we must go. Aquí era lo que os comentaba, el modo historia, el modo desafío y el modo hierro. El modo historia es normal, el desafío es que hay que superar con X tiradas y el modo hierro que te tienes que superar los 35 niveles sin fallar, si no te borra la partida. Creatures of the world, now that the tractor takes us back. Stefan Milenkovic pining for blue skies, house musing on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior section team leaders will convene.
emergency counselling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups larger than four people at a time per team. In the interim, teams are encouraged to take advantage of the half ration special on OMAS, the delicious and relaxing drink that takes the edge of everything. Our next caller, Yamil, takes us into her world of food, smells, sensuality, blue skies, and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale, fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. I have nightmares. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia, not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I was 20, when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt different. Each country has a smell. Mars doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, bananas, coconut, mama's food, ropa vieja, de la abuelita, el con gris, la yuca con mojito, the most beautiful San Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls, all of that made me into the person I am. So when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent is by singing. Como fue? No sé decirte como fue. No sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Fue una luz que iluminó todo como manantial, llenó mi vida de inquietud. Fueron tus ojos o tu boca, fueron tus manos o tu voz, fue a lo mejor la impaciencia de tanto esperar tu llegada, más no sé, no sé decirte cómo fue. No sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Slušajte Radio Nostalgia sa Marsa. Thank you, Young Mule. What a wonderful story. Reminds us that life is about so much more than just base survival. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. Needs no introduction. Argue all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment. Relax. And remember. With Radio Nostalgia from Mars. A Russian and an American work together in space. A very different sight from the Cold War arms or race. Whether Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001, Melville or Dostoyevsky, you sing in all Japan and two astronauts. Argued about art, that is 
and international relations to astronauts Америка убила иракцев, убила че, арены и ламунду. Она убила корейцев и ветнамцев, распространяя демократию. Don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer under SARS. My friend, your history is long. You also inflict the scars. Two astronauts argued about art. That is an international relations. Two astronauts Two tongues, but still for hours they talk. The same oxygen in their lungs, the same thrill on their space walk. Hey, Starry, Dobry Dan. Radio Nostalgia Samas. Anna Church in there, and arguably the first interplanetary hit to astronauts, an anthem to the great evacuation, and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. Some of you don't like it. But all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony. And our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to be a new mother on Mars. <laughs> I'm so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. As angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the ARC ship. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to further human survival in our solar system. 
Speaking of the human project, I have some exciting news. Just a week ago, we welcomed our baby boy into the world. Words cannot express how overjoyed we are at welcoming little Maxim. Putting him to bed reminds me of my parents. From our window here in Tesla City, we can see the earth, tiny enough to fit in Maxim's hand. It pains me that my child might never experience the beauty of my home in the Hamptons. The nature, coastline, the old lighthouse, and the food, the houses of our friends, our evening parties, full of life compared to this barren, rugged terrain. I send my little Martian to sleep with a lullaby my mother sang for me. Thanks to these songs, I'm able to retain, at least on a rudimentary level, my mother tongue. She sang like this. Shushti, shushti, bambu solis, poret moka prozora, noj se ti ho... Spušta na kraj Za nebeskih svodova Noć se ti ospušta na kraj Za nebeskih svodova We can't push out for Mars Thank you, Sophia, for that uplifting news and beautiful song. Life always finds a way. Just as precious as a new life is the water that sustains it. You may have noticed that it doesn't rain here on Mars, so another friendly reminder that showers are strictly limited to 30 seconds each, with no exceptions. Corporate is looking into extending this time frame, but is meeting resistance from Section BC who want lab rat urine to be excluded from the water recycling program, which would actually reduce allocated shower times to 27 seconds. Want to say in this? Join our sectional weekly meetings and vote while sipping on a relaxing tube of OMAS. Feels good, as it should. Radio nostalgia from Mars.
passes quickly. You're home away from home. Life passes quickly indeed. Another blast from the past, reminding us to savor each moment as it flies by. Speaking of savoring things, the Health and Wellbeing Department would like us to remind you that the popping and fizzing noise your dried food makes when you're adding water is perfectly normal and does not mean it has gone off or is contaminated. The Health and Wellbeing Department would also like to take this moment to remind you to take your bone density pills twice a week now, as it was discovered the original dose is off by a factor of two. Right, on with the show. Music and dancing have always been a mainstay of stress relief and letting go. Our next caller, Merva, recalls her teenage clubbing days with vivid memories of awkward first kisses and a life-altering club experience invoking a philosophical epiphany. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, radiant nostalgia from Mars. So when I was a kid in Vienna, and then suddenly I felt very dizzy, so I sat on the ground and held my knees closely to my chest. It was some sort of like, you know, like protective instinct. I was like an animal. And I felt cold sweat dripping down my neck. Ugh. And I'm sure my guy thought I was completely crazy. And then out of nowhere, the Heine lines clearly came to me. I sat there motionless, surrounded by the ugly, hypnotic, ugh, delirious atmosphere. And no effort to recall Heine's lines. They were just there, planted in my head. Wilde düstere Zeiten. later Mars mission in a way the people who killed my parents found me in Italy and recruited me saved me you can say it is ironic now my parents fought for freedom I cannot say I'm free here on Mars they took my semen this morning for the population increase program 
here on Mars. Often in the middle of the night, I hear my parents saying, to say maledetta per ogni cuore che sente coscienza dolorosa ci fu la partenza e il ritorno per molti non fu Gorizia, tu sei maledetta per ogni cuore che sente coscienza dolorosa ci fu la partenza e il ritorno per molti non fu Radio Nostalgia from Mars
seconds. In one second. Ready, 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 ready. 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 Yeah, to all you Martians out there, welcome to another edition of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Plenty of great stuff coming your way onto Soul Show. You know, a bit of that old Terran flavor, some more stories from our beloved callers, and news and views from around our base out here among the stars. Like I said, Never saw my crew or this guy again. Wow, what amazing luck to be in the right suit at the right time. Just goes to show dressing appropriately for the job can really go a long way. Speaking of dressing appropriately, here's a Mars fun fact. Despite an average temperature of well below minus 80 degrees centigrade, if you step outside without a suit on, you won't freeze to death, your blood will boil. That's due to the low atmospheric pressure outside. So please maintain your suits properly and follow decontamination protocols strictly at all times when returning from extra habitat activities. No suit, no life as we say. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Right, how about a 21st century love song remixed for the 22nd? Who's watching who? Espionage or true love? I guess we'll never really be quite sure.
all these daily routines and protocols about everything we took for granted on Earth are so exhausting. Is it safe to take off your hazmat to breathe? Is the water distilled from all our urine really safe? And exactly what behavior will trigger a social credit demotion? Not to mention, every sneeze is suspect. The whole dome has to be sanitized if someone even sniffles. You'd think we figured it out during the pandemic. I know social distancing up here is impossible, but how freaking difficult is it to keep your hands clean and just not sneeze on stuff? Anyway, maybe that's humanity in a nutshell. After all, we walked on the moon before really learning to walk on Earth. I digress. Just want to say that the effort put into maintaining basic life functions in this state-of-the-art society outweighs the benefit of being alive. Use your head, can't you? Use your head. You're on Earth, there's no cure for that. Sam Beckett wrote that in Endgame. We're not a cure, regardless of what our de facto overlords claim. It's ironic that the only thing we manage to export culturally onto another planet is a Silicon Valley brand of Protestantism. Sorry for rambling. Anyway... I called into the program to share some earth sounds I captured. I'm sure listeners of RNFM who suffer from nostalgia like me will appreciate. I was never a nature person, never really liked hiking or camping. I miss the city. This whole predicament started because we mixed with wilderness in the first place. This bullshit about mother nature triggered one of the fact that maybe we were supposed to keep a sharp boundary between ourselves and the wild. And now, we're demoted from Earthling to miserable Martian status. So at the end of every day, or I mean Sol, I escape into texts I brought along, I drink that horrid canteen coffee, and listen to urban sounds I recorded 15 years ago, mostly in New York and London. Here are some of my favorite sounds. Here's the sound of my bicycle rolling down the street. of cars and birds. And the giggling of my kids in Washington Square as a group of street performers play the boombox and do tricks. going off and the smell of Turkish coffee. And for some reason, I'm obsessed with the sound of the New York MTA.
radio nostalgia from Mars. Well, that brings us towards the end of this particular show. I hope you've enjoyed our rather geological excursion into the past. From music to stories and memories, Radio Nostalgia from Mars has it all. If you want to be involved with RNFM, have a story to tell, a memory to share, contact us via the usual intranet channels and leave a short message outlining your contribution. A big thank you to our show sponsor, OMAS, the no stress, no fuss drink for the ultra elite. And a big thank you to corporate for allocating us this precious time and their resources on this tight beam to you. from home. Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Now, as much as we appreciate our regular callers, there is one person we would really love to hear from. A man many of us owe our lives to. Our national hero, the Mars mission pilot, who brought us here safely so many years ago. Believe it or not, he finally made it back to Earth. After all these years, his dream finally came true. As we all know, he's at a very difficult time adapting to life here on Mars. We all have, just not in the public eye like him. So Charlie, this is Radio Nostalgia from Mars, personally reaching out to you. Charlie, we'd really appreciate it if you took some time to share a bit of the atmosphere from Earth with us. I'm sure many of our listeners are eager to hear your thoughts on being back. Just speak into the mic in your helmet. A few recorded words. Anything. probably listening now from a rooftop somewhere in Alphaville. So stay tuned to see if he responds. But to be honest, I don't think we'll be hearing from him anytime soon, sadly. Oh well, who can blame him? Let's not spoil his moment any longer. Continue our own trip down memory lane. absolute pleasure to share this time with you. We're playing out now with some uplifting melodic techno to remind us to always look onwards and upwards. We may have... Me? 
Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Wow, what a way to start the show. Anna Chuchin with Take My Hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come into Soul Show, a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days. Original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama. Rick, from Mars. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First, you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe the air. I remember looking at Amy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. The Mars project was plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently The family and I had already put down... Si os ha útil la guía de Gol, Clu, Westerland, Dale un like, suscribiros y campanita. Hasta la próxima, cazadores de trofeos y platinos.